Okay, so before this video starts, I just want to let you guys know that I have a brand new Discord server, so if you guys are interested in joining it, the link will be in the description. Hi everyone, and welcome back to a new video on the How to Make a Pet Simulator X Star Game Series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to script the inventory system for our game. So, if I go ahead and open up my pet inventory, I should have my pet image right here, and when I click it, I can equip the pet and when I unclick it, I can equip the pet and we can attack drops. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. The, the link will be in the description. With that being said, let's start. All right, so what you're going to do is go to the link in the description and you're going to get the pet inventory UI model. And once you do that, you're going to go to your box studio, home, uh, toolbox, and press inventory. And then drag your pet inventory UI into Roblox studio. And if it says this message, just press OK. These are only two scripts that open and close the UI. So just press OK. And now we're going to ungroup the model. So just right click and ungroup. And then drag both of these into starter UI and drag them into main SS. And now you should see a pets frame and an open pet inventory button. So what I'm going to do is just make the pet inventory frame invisible. So just go to the visible property and just uncheck visible. And then I'm going to go to start player scripts, um, X client. And what I'm going to do is create a function. So I'm going to go up here, but before I do that, sorry, I'm going to create some references to our inventory. So local inventory is equal to main s. Okay. So we don't, we don't have, okay. So local a main ss is equal to player colon wait for child player gy colon wait for child colon wait for child main ss. And what I'm going to do is local inventory is equal to main ss and wait for child inventory and local scrolling frame is equal to inventory come wait for child and i'm pretty sure it's called scrolling frame so come wait for child scrolling frame and local uh template is equal to scrolling frame come wait for child and template all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and create the function. So local function uh, on, okay, so I'm going to call it create template. And it's going to take a pet name. And what I'm gonna do inside of this template is local new template. So we're gonna clone the template and new template dot name is equal to and pet name and new template dot visible is equal to true and new template dot parent is equal to true and scrolling frame so now what i'm gonna do is okay so we're gonna go to the to the link in the description and get the module called module 3d and once you do that you're gonna go ahead to the toolbox again inventory and just search for module 3d uh 3d sorry and then you're gonna drag it inside of the game and just drag it inside of replicated storage. And what I'm gonna do is go to my main client, uh, actually X client, sorry. And in here, I'm going to do local module 3D is equal to require uh, replicated storage can wait for child module 3D. Now what I'm gonna do here is just do local pet model 3D. So we're gonna display the pet model is equal to module 3D colon attach 3D. Sorry, colon attach 3D. And that's going to take new template colon wait for child viewport, comma, and pets colon wait for, colon find first child pet name colon clone. And then pet model 3d con set okay so i can set depth multiplier and maybe two and pet model 3d pet model 3d dot camera dot field of view 
is equal to 5. By the way, you can check the documentation of this uh, module from the link in the description. Okay, so pet model, pet model 3D, dot visible is equal to true. And then run service, the orange stepped, on connect function, and that's just going to do, okay, so pet model 3D, colon set C frame, and it will be C frame dot angles, and zero comma tick, comma, okay, so comma tick, percentage, uh, brackets math.py multiplied by two comma zero and multiplied by c frame dot angles uh, math.rad minus 10 comma and zero comma zero and then right here i'm gonna do new template dot mouse button one click mouse button one click on connect function and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another function and it's going to be called on template click. So on template clicked and it's going to take the clicked template. So the template that we just clicked and in here, what I'm going to do is if click template dot equipped dot value is equal, equal to true that to false, sorry, false then uh, for underscore comma V in pairs uh, scrolling frame, scrolling frame, colon get children, do, and if the colon is a, a GY button, then v dot equipped dot value is equal to false, and v dot background color three is equal to color three dot from RGB. And I'm just going to get a nice green color. So I have this actually it's going to be the normal blue of the template. So just to go to your scrolling frame template and just go to background color and copy this color and go back here and just paste that in. And then what I'm going to do is click template. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't do that in here. Uh, scroll down and click template dot equipped dot equipped dot value is equal to true and click template dot background background color three is equal to color three dot from rgb and now i'm just going to get a nice green color so i'm just going to click this color wheel right here and i'm going to pick a nice green color like this or I have a better one that I'm going to copy and paste. And then uh, I'm going to create a remote event inside of the remotes folder. And I'm just going to add a remote event. And it's going to be called unequipped pets. And I'm going to duplicate it and call the duplicated one equip pet. And what I'm going to do in here is fire both of them so remote so unequip pets call fire server and fire the equip pet remote and we're gonna send the click to template dot name and else what I'm gonna do is okay so we're gonna copy this again copy this for loop paste it in here and I'm just going to do remote dot unequip pets call fire server and that's okay so also, when you when we finish this, when we hatch the egg, we're gonna call the create template function, and that's going to take the pet chosen pet dot pet name, and then I'm going to enter the main server and these. Okay, so enter the main server, and what I'm gonna do is game the replicated storage. Okay, so. Uh, game dot replicated storage dot remote dot unequip pet pets dot on server event call connect function and that's going to take the player and okay so that's just going to take the player and what I'm gonna do is workspace dot main folder underscore workspace 
dot player pet can't find first child player dot name can't clear all children so we're gonna remove all of the pets and then we're gonna go up here and again don't replicate a storage don't remote don't remote oh re replicate replicate a storage dot remote dot equip pet dot on server dot on server event can't connect function and that's going to take the player and the pet name and what all we're gonna do is check if player dot pets can't find first child pet name then so we're gonna check if the player even has if the player even has the pet and then we're gonna get the pet model so we're gonna so pet model is equal to and game dot replicated storage dot pets can't find true child pet name on a clone and pet model dot parent is equal to and workspace dot main folder workspace can't find first child player dot name actually uh main folder workspace dot player pets sorry and i think that's all we need all right so i'm gonna go ahead and play the game and see if this is gonna work I really hope it does. So I'm going to open this up. And as you can see, I have no pets. I'm going to hatch this. And I can't even hatch it. So, infant yield inventory. So, I guess I, s I spelled this. Okay, so it should be pet inventory. Sorry. So, go back to your ex client script. And up here, inventory will ch be changed to pet inventory. And that should hopefully work. I'm gonna view the output, hatch this, and let's see if this is gonna work. Cat, common, and in here, as you can see, we have the cat, and if I press this, nothing happens. Let's see why that is happening. Okay, so do we have a pets folder? And we do have the cat, and what I'm gonna do now is just Okay, I'm gonna go here and I'm. Oh, we are not calling the uh, on template cl click function. So on template click, and that's just going to take the new template. And now play the game, and that should hopefully work. So I'm gonna go hatch the egg again. And open up the pen inventory. And if I click it, it turns green. Now as you can see the pet now follows me and when I click it again it unequips. Now what I'm gonna do is hatch multiple pets. So here's the second one. Third one. And the final fourth one. And now I'm just going to open up my pen inventory. Now as you can see we can click and so equip and unequip multiple pets and let's see if we can send them and of course we can and uh, when we okay so that works all right so this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped please make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you all in the next video bye